Hey everybody, it's me, Libby B, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, so uh, I've been feeling a little bit inspired lately, so I thought I would just do my everyday makeup routine. Um, I've been wearing a whole lot less makeup these days just because um, I'm lazy and I've been doing makeup on a lot of people and so I figure I might as well put my effort into making them look pretty and not so much myself. But if you're interested in seeing my lazy girl makeup routine, then just keep on watching. There's no one else here around me, sinking my feet in the sand. So essentially, I usually start off with my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's huge. This thing was $25, I believe, and it's huge, and I barely made a dent. So just take a little bit, or a lot. <laughs> down the gobbler so some updates um, I got microblading done so that's why my brows look like they've already been done I'm really happy with how they turned out shouts out to Irene Brow Beauté and then I usually take the Body Shop's Vitamin E Refreshing Eyes Cube um, just because it, during the winter my under eyes get so dry like last year it was literally cracking and bleeding underneath my eyes so especially in the winter I like to take extra precaution when it comes to my eyes and then <laughs> sometimes the tops of my eyes can get really dry so then I take the Body Shop's Vitamin E Eye Cream which is just I'm assuming the same idea, only in a cream, so I just take a little bit and I rub it and I go kind of just lightly like so. And I sometimes bring it down to my nose because my nose gets dry too. Every part of me gets dry in the winter. Then I typically move on to my eyes first and then I do my base afterwards. So I start off with the Tarte Lid Lock in Buff. And I just kind of... I really like this product because it really... It acts well as a base for the eyeshadows, but it also cancels out any of the veins on my lids. It's like a, a cruelty-free MAC soft ochre paint pot. Um, what else is new with me? Not too much. Um, exams are coming up, so um, getting ready for those. <laughs> Not stressing at all. Um, then I usually take my Morphe Y19 brush. I really like it because the bristles on it are super fluffy, but it's also shaped small, so it's a fluffy brush that I can really get into my crease because I've got very small eyes. And then I go into my Naked Heat palette and I take Sauce. And I kind of just dig into that and I work it into the crease. That is way darker than I wanted it to be. But sometimes when it turns out darker than I wanted it to be, I'll dig into the latest from my Kat Von D palette. It's just a nice skin tone and I'll buff that around so it really just blends it all out. What's the number one thing on your guys' Christmas list this year? Let me know in the comments below. I am 
going to Cabo over Christmas. So I'm really excited for that because I've never been and I have not been on vacation in a very long time. So I'm not asking for a whole lot for Christmas because vacations are hecka expensive. Then I usually take the same latest shade from the Kat Von D palette on a flat packing brush and I just pack it on the inner corner of my eye and a little bit onto the lid just to brighten that area up a bit. And that's it, that's all I do for the eyes. Uh, when my brows are healed, I'll usually put a little bit of shadow under the brow bone but I'm not supposed to put any makeup around it or on it uh, while it's healing, so yeah. And then I usually move on to my base. I usually prime my face with the Winky Luxe Whipped Cream Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It feels so nice and it really covers my pores. So I just take the smallest little bit and I'll rub it between and I'll just do a little bit around my nose and under my eyes because that's where I'm placing most of my makeup today. But yeah, going back to my brows, I actually am lucky enough that I won a contest that allowed me to get my brows microbladed. Um, I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I absolutely freaking love this. So much more than the Tarte Shape Tape. Sorry, not sorry. It's just way more hydrating. And so I just do a little bit like that. Anyways, so I had my first brow session last month at the beginning of October. And it was the initial appointment where I got them done. And oh my goodness, Y'all know I'm full of tattoos, but this hurt way more than any tattoo I've ever gotten. And I'm pretty sure it's probably because, yes, it's on my face, but <laughs> that doesn't excuse the fact that it hurt. You're not allowed to wear makeup around or on your brows during the healing period. Sometimes cheat, I'm really sorry. But they start to like, late during week two and I'm coming on week three of the second round of healing because I went back to get them done again um, for touch up and I'm on week three now and the flaking starting to go down but I found like flakes of dead skin <laughs> everywhere and they have little like strokes it's really funny another thing I haven't been doing during the winter is really setting my under eyes a whole lot. Um, I'm usually like really avid about like, as soon as I blend out the concealer, I have to pack on the powder so that it doesn't crease. But the powder has been really drying out my under eyes and I don't want a repeat of last year. So um, I've just been kind of doing a light layer and it also makes it stay very dewy. I also haven't been wearing a whole lot of foundation as well just because I don't want to get makeup around my brows and I just want my skin to be able to breathe and this is so much faster. And then I just take whatever's like left on the beauty blender and I kind of just run it down my nose as sort of like a highlight and a little bit on my chin as well. And then I usually take my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, it's just like a really nice cream bronzer. I love this because it's so universal. Like I've seen it on multiple different skin tones and it just looks absolutely incredible. So I just take my Real Techniques brush. It's just dense. And I dip it and I really just kind of Go on there, ham. Bring it up to the hairline a little bit. It just really adds a nice bone structure on me. <laughs> I'm gonna just do a little bit on my chin too. 
I've been really into using a lot of cream products lately um, just because if they're easy, they're fast, they look natural, dewy, glowy. And then I take my Morphe E18, it's an eye brush, but shh. And I dip it and then I just do a little bit like that. And another new thing is I haven't been going like straight down my nose. I've just been doing the tip and bringing it as up as much as the product will allow me to. And it just makes my nose look a whole lot more natural and I don't have like a harsh line like I probably have in the past. And then dab it out with whatever is left on the beauty blender. Then I usually take my custom made Bite Beauty lipstick. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this last year. It's my custom color called Young Madonna that I made at the Bite Beauty Lab here in Toronto. It smells amazing, still. It's cherry vanilla scented, like two of my favorite scents in the entire world. And when they're put together, it's just like, heaven on earth. <laughs> so I usually take that as a blush and I just, run that up my cheek like so and I take my blush brush and I just I'm looking for a proper cream blush but I'm a broke college student so we gotta do what we gotta do you know if you know you know and it just adds such a nice and natural blush I also like using my lipstick as my blush because when I wear this lipstick on my lips as well, it just adds such a nice cohesive look. I just do like a mixture of tapping and rubbing and making sure I have no circles left on my face from the blush. Then, so I'm not just totally creasing throughout the day, I do do a such a light layer of powder. So I take my Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder and I take a big fluffy brush and I kind of just make it kind of more open. And I dip and I just do over top the nose, down like that. Kind of the T-zone minus my forehead. And that's that, that's all I do for powder now. Next, I do mascara. I know I keep going back to my brows, but I seriously love them <laughs> so much. I've always had an issue with my brows. Like, there's always been something wrong with my brows, but they're so perfect now and I'm loving them. And it takes so much time off my morning routine. Because I used to spend probably 20 minutes out of my morning routine specifically on my brows and I just wake up and I go now. So, <laughs> I just curl my lashes. And I try to focus mostly on curling the outer corners because I really like how like the cat wings flick up. But I just try my best. And then I take my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Mascara. I love this, but it's so heavy duty. I feel like I could knock someone out with this tube of mascara, I swear. And I just... Do a super light layer. But this mascara is life changing. Like, I'll show you in a minute close up the difference that it makes. And sometimes I'll do two layers, sometimes I'll do one. Just depends. You can already see the difference. I mean, look at that. What the heck? Look at that. So that's done and not. What the heck? That is amazing. It really just brings the whole look together. Next, for highlight, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. It was just a Sephora gift with purchase. So, but I love it. It's really natural. And so I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I dip my flat edged sponge, which 
just into that and I just dab it onto the high points of my cheek. It doesn't give like a bam in your face glow, but it's just a nice and natural soft glow, which is really what this whole look is all about. And you can definitely build it up. And then I take a little bit on my pinky, just do a little bit on the nose. Hold it on the mouth, and that is that. And before I put on my lipstick, I always brush my teeth because it's counteracted. You put lipstick on, you brush your teeth, and the lipstick comes off, and you should brush. So let's do that. So it's time to brush those curly whites. Lately, I've been using a bamboo toothbrush just because. It's so much better for the environment, like plastic toothbrushes are not recyclable and they just sit in landfills for years and years on end, so, you know, just the little things. And now that my teeth are all nice and brushed, Oh, what's that? That's right, I have a tooth diamond. I love my glitz and my glam, obviously. So, for the sake of the cohesion, I'm going to be using my personally made Young Madonna lipstick. That is all for my look. I take my hair down now. This might be an actual mess. <laughs> I hate myself. My hair is nice and wet, but this is the completed look. It's just a super simple, super, super fast everyday makeup routine. And I hope you guys can follow along. And yeah, so uh, I hope to be making more videos in the future. I just, you know, with my mental state, it's hard to say. So I guess I will say goodbye for now and I will see you when I see you next. I don't want to make any promises that it's going to be every Sunday. I just need you guys to bear with me. But thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. As always, if you have any questions for me, ask them on any of my social medias with the hashtag Coffee on the Couch with Libby or hashtag Beauty by Butler for a chance to be featured in an upcoming Q&A. And once again, I want you guys to comment what your number one gift on your Christmas list is this year, because I just really want to know.